Hello all, welcome to EC Electronics. So this is the video lecture series of VHDL subject. Uh, we are going to discuss about operators that we commonly used uh, use in VHDL programming. So if you are seeing uh, the EC Electronics channel for the first time, please do subscribe to it and also follow us on our Instagram page. Okay. So let us see the VHDL operators that we generally use in VHDL coding. Okay. So the first one is logical operators. So we generally know that a VHDL coding we use in a digital electronic circuit design, right? And in digital electronic circuit design, we use a lot of gates, right? So these are the gates that we use in digital electronic circuits and also in VHDL coding, these uh, operators are predefined, okay? Not operator, AND, NAND, OR, NOR, XOR and XNOR, right? So these are the logical operators. The first category is actually logical operators. And these are the logical operators or operations we use in VHDL coding. So if you want to perform a NOT, just directly use this NOT. Okay. And also the VHDL language is not case sensitive. So you can go for either small or large or capital letter, small letter or capital letter. Okay. Now these logical operators can operate on which all data type bit bit vector and also std logic and std underscore logic underscore vector okay and also on std u logic and u logic vector so these are the data types on which this logical operators can operate if you are not using the logical operators along with these data types that is if you are using this day uh, this logical operator with other data types means it can cause an error sometimes an error may pop up okay so you have to use these logical operators with these data type only. Okay. Next category, arithmetic operators. Okay. So the arithmetic operator operators generally we use are plus for addition, minus for subtraction, star for multiplication, backslash for division, ABS for absolute, mod for modulus, REM for reminder, double star for exp exponent okay so these are the arithmetic operators again on which all data types these arithmetic operators can be used let us see so if not included un uh, unwanted informations or lot of informations have not stuffed into this videos only the required amount if you are seeing these videos for the first time like if you are a beginner in digital coding you only require the necessary details right so only those de de details or information I've tried to include in these videos okay so if you want to have a deep uh, learning of VHDL subject I would suggest you to buy the book on Doug buy the book of Douglas or uh, any other good standard books okay then that will give you a vast information about the VHDL programming okay so I'll, I'll, I'll refer you that book in the description okay the book which I'm following so the arithmetic operators are these are the arithmetic operators now it can be used with the std underscore logic underscore vector data type can be used in addition and subtraction if std logic signed or std logic unsigned package of library is used okay then otherwise arithmetic operators can be used with integer sign and unsigned data types okay Generally, it can be used with std underscore logic underscore vector or if you are specifically uh, taking the data types signed and unsigned from IEEE package, again it can be used. Also, generally we use it with integer signed and unsigned data types. Okay. Next, comparison operators equal, then not equal to, not equal to means generally we give this is they have given us backslash right generally we give a single line straight line equal to then less than greater than then less than equal to greater than equal to and also we use this great less than or equal to see this this is actually again an assignment operator okay in order to assign the values to a particular variable also we use this one which is less than or equal to that symbol we also use okay the comparison operator can be used along with bit, bit vector, 
STD logic, STD logic vector, and also on STD U logic, U logic vector, integer signed and unsigned. Okay. So these are the comparison operators. And also I want to tell you that it's not equal to, generally we use a straight line equal to or an exclamation mark slash equal to. Okay. Next one, shift operator. SLL shift left logic, SRL shift right logic, SLA shift left arithmetic, SRA shift right arithmetic, ROL is rotate left, ROR is rotate right. So these operators can be used only with bit vector data types. Okay. So in this video, we have discussed about the data, uh, sorry, the operators that we generally use in VHDL coding. So some corrections also I have mentioned while explaining. Okay, so while doing the VHDL coding, you will get a very clear idea of how to use this data types, how to perform the operations, all those. Okay. The coding videos we will be uploading very quickly, one by one. We have actually started with the basics, that is entity, defining the, uh, the architecture for behavioral modeling, all these things we have already uploaded. Okay, so this is the operator video, VHDL operator video. So slowly we will uh, pick up all the concepts. Okay, so if you are finding these videos useful, please do give it a thumbs up also share with your friends and also please to subscribe to us uh, on our youtube channel and also follow us on our instagram page and for notes please do subscribe to the telegram channel okay so that's it thanks for watching and keep on watching and stay tuned okay